we're actually going to be going back to the cornfield and setting up this. But uh, yeah, I probably will just put a little stick under here or something to raise it up a little bit more. No way. There's a giant on here. If this isn't one of the freshest rubs you've ever seen, How's it going folks? Today we're actually going to be going back to the cornfield and setting up this because well if you saw in the last video the one with the buck well I'm basically I was gonna move it to the other side of the woods where my other truck camera is but you know uh, it got dark so we had to come back and it just didn't do it and so I checked it and there's actually that big buck on here I popped the picture up on the screen right here and yeah so that buck was on there so I mean I'm going to move back there because I had it out there for one night and I got so many deer on there. So right now, I'm about to head out there, put this guy up there. So, um, yeah, I got the camera. I'm actually going to bring a goose call and see if I can call in some geese because, well, there's been a lot of geese going to the cornfield. So, I mean, I might see if I can call some in. And if I do, you guys stay tuned. But I'm going to head out to the cornfield and, yeah, I'll see you guys there. Alright guys, so um, we made it to the cornfield, and I hope there's a deer out by, like, like if we get that buck on, on here, over here again, then I actually brought up my different camera, so the other one that has 16 zoom, jeez dude, there's so many birds, but this camera actually has like 168 zoom, so um, we'll be able to zoom in quite nice with this thing. Okay, so I don't see any deer, but you really never know because there could be a deer embedded right here and I wouldn't even know. Alright, so this is the tree. I had her like right here. The big buck was actually like way out there. But if you guys remember, there was that small buck and he was standing like right here, like on these branches and stuff. So, I mean, hey, well, there's actually like a scrape up here. Where was it? Um, me and my brother found it the other day. Look. There's a scrape right here. This is actually a really, really good scrape. So maybe, honestly, maybe I should set it over there. And then go back to the house and get some Tink 69 or something. And put it on there. Because what is this, that big buck? Ooh. It may be. But I mean, it's hard to, I just have to clear all this stuff out. Like, off. Ugh. Alright, well, I'm going to get to clearing this stuff out. And, um, yeah, I'll show you guys when I'm done, so stay tuned. All right, guys, well, um, it looks a lot better than it did before. I mean, I got all that cleaned out and stuff. Might just need to do a little bit more, but, I mean, here's the scrape. And I actually went back to the house and got the Ting 69, and I actually picked up my saw. And, um, well, I was cutting down some limbs and everything. So I got most of it out of the way. I just need to do a couple up there and stuff. But, um, well, I'm going to get the chair camera set up here in a minute, and we'll do, like, a time-lapse thing like I did the last time. So, yeah, let's do the time-lapse, baby. Alright folks, so um, well, I think I got it pretty decent, I mean, I might need to raise it up a little bit more because I'm trying to get like the scrape and everything, but uh, yeah, I probably will just put a little stick under here or something to raise it up a little bit more, but um, well I'm about to put some Ting 69 on this puppy, so um, I'll just show you guys that because I mean, you never really see it on my channel, so um, well, we're going to do that real quick. I'm just going to pull a little bottle of the good old little Tank 69 and actually I'm gonna do this because I don't want to dump it on myself, so hold on. So I mean, you just go like this, you just squirt her on there, just a little something like that. Alright, that should be good. Got the tanks on there, and um, got the chair camera ready to go. So, I don't, I think I remember how to do it, like to turn it on, but I mean, okay, so I think you just go like this. Yeah, it's working. Okay, and if it doesn't, well, that just sucks. All right, got it latched on right there. Peace. And, well, I don't know what we're gonna do now. Oh yeah, I forgot. 
we're gonna try and call in some geese and start calling. <laughs> Alrighty, boys. So um, right now it is about 5:30, and well, it's getting dark right now. Oh, there's geese up there. I don't know if you can see him. Basically, it's getting dark. I mean, it doesn't look like it that much, but, well, it is. And so, I would go check my other truck camera, but it's actually, like, really far away from my house. So, um, I'm just going to wait to do that one tomorrow. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow after school. I don't know if I got that, but there was just a deer over here. But um, as you guys can see, well, I'm in a field right now, and I just actually spooked up two deer, and um, well, yeah. But my other truck cam's over there in that woods, so we're gonna be going over there. But first, I kind of want to go peek into the field and see if they wanted the field, because if they went to the field, I can get them on camera and show you guys. So um, well, I'm gonna go to the field real quick. So um. Well, there wasn't any deer in the field, so they ran back into the woods over here. But I'm um, now I'm walking to the woods, and if I don't get a pretty decent buck on this camera, then I'm probably gonna move it to a different spot in the woods. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it yet, but um, well, we'll just have to see because I'm actually gonna check it in the woods this time instead of bringing the SD card home. And so um, well. I'll see you guys if we spook up any deer or anything. Well, I'm trying to find my entrance spot. And, well, as you can see, I didn't even make it in the woods. And this isn't even my spot. And, well, I already kicked up a deer. So, I just, I, I don't know. I mean, I guess I am being loud, I guess. But, um, how come, like, if you try to be quiet, they spook up? And then, like, they, if you're trying to be quiet, and they spook up, like, right away. And then, like, if you're walking fast and hard and stuff, it takes some time to spook up, like, when you're right on top of them. So, I don't really know, but right here is actually my entrance spot. So, we're going to go in and see if there, well, there's deer. There's a deer. There's two. Oh, oh my crap. Oh, my God. There was a monster buck. Oh my god. I don't know if you guys saw that, but there was a monster buck over there. I saw its frame. That thing is huge. That thing is huge. Oh my god. Okay, I'm probably going to put my truck camera over there, maybe. Did you guys see that thing? I don't know if I got it, but that thing was literally massive. Like, I'm talking monstrous. Like, it's, it's easily the size of one that I got on my truck camera. But actually, right over here is where that small buck is, I think. So, see if we can get it popping up. Well, we made it. I haven't seen any deer. The buck over here has a spooked up or anything yet. So, should be good for right now. But, um, let's go take a look over here. Looks like there's been a lot of activity. It actually looks like the salt block has moved because it was centered this way right here. And now it's over there. So we should get some pictures. If we don't, well, that just sucks. But you know, I'm going to sit down. We're going to check this puppy and see what's popping. So, yeah, here we go. All right, well, we didn't get any pictures. What a shock. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, we did. Never mind. No way. <laughs> There's a giant on here. Holy crap. That thing is huge. I think that's the one that I saw. 
Oh, that's all the pictures. And boy, do we have a giant on here. Jeez, dude. I think we're gonna walk around the woods, actually, and see if we can spook up any big bucks. All right, so um, we're gonna turn this puppy back on. All right, it's giving us a countdown. All right. So, actually, you know, I got everything set up and everything. And I'm going to walk around the woods, like I said, and see if I can see any scrapes or any new rubs or any deer. So, um, yeah, I'm going to start walking and being ready to record at any moment. So, um... You guys stay tuned. If this isn't one of the freshest rubs you've ever seen, it's literally orange. Look at that. This is fresh, 100%. It would be awesome if I just freaking found an antler on the ground. I don't know if this is a scrape or what, but something tore this up. Oh man, look at this rub. That's what this is from. That rub right there. <laughs> I didn't even see that. Like, I don't think this is a scrape. Okay. I don't see any deer that way. I don't see any right here, but there's a little hill right here. So I think I'm just going to have to make a run for it. I'm just going to get my bag and go. So, back in this field, over there's the trail camera in that woods, and oh, uh, well, I'm really out of breath. I'll probably see you guys when I get home or something, I don't really know, but I don't think I'm going to check my other trail camera again, I mean I'm sure I probably got something on there, but I think I'm going to check them on Saturday. Which today is actually Thursday. So I'll check both of them Saturday and see what's on them. So um that's probably gonna wrap it up for today's video. So I'll probably see you guys back at the house. Unless I see a deer or something. Alright guys, so it is actually the next day. And yes, I did a good haircut from the next from the last clip you guys saw. But the reason why I'm doing more trail camera videos and like outdoor videos, I mean I guess you do go out to side a lot, but um, like hunting videos stuff like that is because actually not this weekend But next weekend is what deer camp is happening And that's basically when I get together family and friends and stuff and we go up for a whole weekend go deer hunting So um, yeah, it's gonna be fun I'm bringing you guys along so you guys will be able to see and what it's like and how is it gonna be and that's basically the same thing I guess but um, I'm bringing you guys along so I hope you enjoy deer hunting like that because well I only get to do it so many times a year so I'm gonna try to make the most of it, and I'm probably gonna do like three videos when I'm there, maybe. I don't really know, but well, that's basically it for this video. So, thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed another my videos. And if you're not already, go ahead and subscribe button, leave a thumbs up, so turn your post notifications, follow me on Instagram. If you want some more videos like this, just comment down below. And that's basically it for this video. So, and until next time, peace out, buds! <laughs>